his aces. Just five days ago, these two teams met to close out, and it's intriguing to see that the Las Vegas aces, nine on the shot clock with Jackie. Young sends it to Chelsea Gray at the top of the key. Three ball, all good. Megan Smith off the bounce, lefty, and she mentioned the importance of a good start, responding right away with a nice touch in the middle. In their last meeting, the Aces were up as many as 29 points over Seattle. They said, we understand what they have. We have to make sure we don't have too many my bads in this game as Skylar Diggins Smith with the and one. Seattle Storm, they are without the services of Ezzy Magdagore, who is out with a concussion protocol. She is not available tonight, and that means that that young lady, 21 and white, Mercedes Russell, is going to have to have a big night. Only winning 11 games last season. They had the biggest jump in W history as far as wins the following year. We talked about the reinforcements and the putback underneath. He said Mercedes needed a big night. Quick rotation. Jewel Lloyd gets an open jump shot. So it's nice to see the now regular season scoring champ and the former scoring champ with the back-to-back -back buckets. Skyler has seven of Seattle's 14 here. The bounce pass, Neko Gumake, when she gets that deep, there's not much you can do if she's one of the most efficient players in this league. In her previous time with Connecticut, we had a deep run in the playoffs a season ago. Neko Gumake, poise. Neko plays at her own pace. Lisa Clark. As well, Kia Stokes on the floor for the Aces, who have struggled mightily in the first quarter from the floor. And that's all you need to see sometimes, the ball go for the win. Yeah, I mean, it is not easy to try to repeat. Nonetheless, three-peat. And Houston Comet, boy, they were stacked over the early oh days goodness. of the WNBA. She has answered. We saw three from Alicia Clark. She said we were going to need depth of contributions off of the bench. And there she is again. <laughs> Defensively, no matter who you are. Such a balanced player shot 40% from the three this season. Great hands by Chelsea Gray. Dish on the inside. Clark gets it. <laughs> Seeing this at this time as Chelsea Plum off the mark on the three, she said it was like holding a bulldog back with flaw string. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is quite the description. And that is... A big bucket for Gabby Williams, a player not necessarily known for knocking down the three. Another dime for Chelsea Gray, making it look so easy right now. Calm, poised, and as everything is happening in the paint, she's able to pop out for some easy jump shots. <laughs> Chelsea Gray with the bucket and a couple of moves as well for the end one. The way that she can attack the basket, instant offense, just plays at a different pace, and it's in Chelsea Gray's vision and her ability to make the game easier for everyone else on the floor. As she has expanded her skill set. Ooh. Which has really helped the Aces with their pace as well. Knowing that Angel Wilson can be one of those places that pushes it in the open court, but Jordan Horson with back-to-back -back buckets for Seattle. Quick release. Just the first bucket for Jackie Young, and the response for Seattle. That's a comfortable shot for Decca. The Mercury showing that they're here for the postseason. Diane still got it. Indeed, down as many as 23 points. We're able to come back. Approaching the one-minute mark here in the second quarter. Jackie Young found space. Check my footwork. I was going to say, the denial by Gabby Williams looked good. Ten or more steals in 20 games this season in Seattle. It's been a rare air on the defensive end. Or Quinn said he can't get better though as Asia Wilson finds that space Becky was talking about. Russell tips it to herself. More movement from Seattle. Trey ball good for Lloyd. Excellent ball movement, offensive rebound. Doesn't really bring the zone as Asia emphatically blocks at the rim. Young, triple, and it all started with the three-time MVP. Seattle started off winning the first quarter 18 to 9. You saw a different Aces squad as they scored 29 points in that second quarter. 
Asia. <laughs> gets the triple, which causes a timeout for Seattle. They know when she gets cooking. Yeah, no movement towards the end of that possession for Las Vegas. We know how much Becky wants the ball to pop. Gabby Williams throws that one in. I like the ball pressure up top by Gabby Williams. Can't even say all the ways that she's impacting this game in the third quarter. Young impacting herself. NECA working for some space on the inside. Dishes it out. Wow. Gabby Williams is on fire in the second the half. Contesting everything coming to the rim in this third quarter. Hayes, wow. on the inside. The lefty, so crafty on the inside. Becky spazzed on us. You know how that was the description. As Skylar Diggins-Smith gets the foul in. Well, she said we have to turn it up on the defensive end. That's something they did in those last 10. Nine of their last 10 opponents under 80 points. That's what they held them from the floor. But right now, Seattle saying that is all in the past. Final seconds of play here in the third. Cindy Colson being guarded by Skyler. Gets it to Asia up top. Back door. Tiffany Hayes. Who else? She's so slippery. Drew Lloyd, two for seven tonight. Finally, a bucket for Dusty Brown at the rim. Has three rebounds to add to that as well as Clark lines it up. Asia Wilson. Took the arm and the bucket with her. And she'll break the three-way tie with Tamika Catchings and Candace Parker for the most games with those numbers as Tiffany Hayes keeps the ball rolling for the Aces. I like this matchup with Gabby Williams and Chelsea Gray. <laughs> Good defense, better offense. The cut by Young, going at Gabby Williams, pulls up. I mean, it's the strength for me. Yeah. Chelsea tapping it up top, finds Hayes on the wing with five on the shot clock. Going at Skyler. How does she do it? Count it. They are 0 for 10 from the field. And Chelsea Gray has every... On their feet. Asia Wilson came alive in the second half with 21, and game one goes to the Las Vegas Aces.